Hi, my name is Dave Belt. I'm an academic advisor with the College of Sciences, and we have the pleasure of a conversation with Dr. David Hatchett, who is a professor and the chair for the Department of Chemistry and Biochemistry. So I have a few questions to ask you, Dr. Hatchett. Sure. Starting with, uh, how would you recommend students study chemistry? Uh, let's see. You have to read the book, follow the syllabus, uh, chemistry it very much builds on what you learned previously so if you're if you don't learn something as you go along mm -hmm. it will be a problem from then on so you have to go back and learn what you didn't learn um, but you have to study you have to read the book you have to do homework in the sciences especially you can't get away with skipping anything like that because it's not like other disciplines so with that being so important, what do you recommend to a student who's feeling behind? How do they either catch up or figure out a way to get back to where they need to be? Well, I tell my students that, that they're paying for a service. They, the service is that they get a professor who is going to teach them um, and that they get free office hours, meaning we all have, have office hours that are devoted to students answering, answering students' questions. So if, if you're behind, um, if you're having trouble, you should show up at your professor's door and you should ask them the questions. You're paying for that service, you might as well get it. Good advice. All right, uh, thinking about any clubs on campus for chemistry students or even what, what activities do you suggest for students outside the classroom? Uh, in the department we have a, a club, it's called Chemical Interactions. They meet uh, probably about once a month, but it's for anybody taking chemistry, it's not specifically chem majors. Uh, in fact, we've had bio majors who are the president of the club. So just get involved. They're, you might as well. And what they do is they, they do a lot of demos. They go out to high schools. They go out to elementary schools. They will, they will do chemistry demos uh, during specific weeks. For example, the, the American Ch Chemical Society will have a week devoted to a certain topic and they may do things with local schools and stuff you know, okay. that relate to that topic. Excellent. So switching gears a little, um, which specific skills do students learn by majoring in chemistry and biochemistry? Mm. Or so, what are crucial skills students need to master for this major? Well, you have to be good at math. You can't, can't avoid math, you can't duck math, you can't be afraid of math, you have to just do it. Um, but more than anything else, chemistry is, 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 is dominated, I would say, by analytical processes. So no matter what discipline you're in in chemistry, you have to have problem solving skills because it's all about analyzing something and based on that analysis, making conclusions. So you have to have those skills. Excellent. And when students graduate, what types of career fields do they move on to? Um, we have students, in fact, we, we, just, we just looked at our, our, our demographics with respect to this. We have students who are doctors. We have ex-students that are working in, in analytical chemistry industry. We have students that are in graduate school at other institutions in chemistry. In fact, I had surgery this summer and the anesthesiologist was an ex-student of mine. So it was kind of shocking. <laughs> and I asked her if she got a good grade and she did. <laughs> so, nice. so, so those are things I think. We have students that decide they don't want to be doctors and they go into science. You know, And there's, there's plenty of chemistry jobs. I think unemployment in chemistry is about 3%. So if, if you look at the national average for unemployment, that's, that's well below the national average. Yeah, wow. So. Okay, Dr. Hatch, a last question for you. Just general advice, general things you think would be important for our students to know. Uh, that you have a very good university in your backyard. That a lot of times people will discount that UNLV is as good as it is because of the fact that Reno is the the older institution. Um, we still have professors teaching chemistry courses. Where I did my graduate work, you were lucky if you saw a professor. 
you had a bunch of student teachers. Um, you're not getting that here. You're still getting the best product that we have to offer. So that's an advantage. You'll come out of here with a very good chemistry degree. Very good. Yep. Well, thanks, Dr. Hatchett, for your yep. time.